What's up, everyone? Hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to be giving you the top 10 loadouts you can be using right now in Warzone 3 after the Season 2 Reloaded update that just happened. I know you guys have been waiting for this and asking for it, so make sure if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that noti bell so you don't miss another video like this, and so that you can always stay up to date on the current meta every time that I post a video. Now, today's going to be pretty fun because we do have a lot of loadouts for you, and I'm actually going to be showing you a tool today of how to kind of get better at the game and also how to find some loadouts that might be right for you it's gonna be a tool that i just started to use to try to get a little bit better at the game and i'm gonna show you exactly how it works and we're gonna give you some awesome loadouts today so let's get into it now this tool is called ggs.ai full disclosure they are sponsoring this video but i'm also doing them a favor too because i love this site and i've been using it the past three weeks and testing it they haven't been up for maybe but a month right now and it's awesome to use if you go to their home page they have a set of loadouts like the best assault rifle you can be using the best lmg you can be using smg sniper all these these kinds of things listed here at the front of their website they've got some of the top people using their website how many kills that they've had their prs those kinds of things as well if you know who t captain x is and cup of joe they are two of the ones behind creating this site and again it's only been up a month and they've done some awesome things with it one of the cooler things you can do is log your games and this is the feature that i really have been utilizing these past few weeks to kind of study my game and get a little bit better like what are my best drop spots where do i have the most kills when i drop where am i dropping when i win the most games those kinds of things this all can help you and get you better at the game just by logging these things and kind of checking and seeing where you're at so what you can do is upload an image one of your games select what game mode you want how many kills you got how many deaths you have how much damage you did in that game and whatever your placement was if you won you got first if you died early you got 15th those kinds of things and what ways did you get kills did you check your mini map did you act well on information those kinds of things were you camping the whole time be honest with yourself or you're not going to get any better were you catching enemies off guard like when they're flying in and those kinds of things as well if you died a lot what ways did you die did you have bad aim bad positioning no cover did you die due to a kill streak those kinds of things as well so make sure you put all that stuff in there and what it's going to do is going to give you a breakdown of your game you're going to select what map you were playing what was your drop-in location usually i always drop farms where did the game finish select where the game finished what was your play style during this game were you balanced were you aggressive casual tactical what kind of things usually i play pretty balanced so i'm not going to get your 60 kills plus i'm usually going to get around hopefully 20 20, maybe 30 every now and then but mostly 15 to 25 for me that's what i've noticed and then you're going to select what loadout you are using if i'm using a ranked game i use my ranked loadout usually if i'm using a balanced meta i'll select a balanced loadout you can also create a loadout right here select what primary weapon you're using you can sort by smg pistol assault rifle marksman rifle all those kinds of things this is going to help you out a ton put all your attachments down this is going to help you keep up with your game then we're going to go to the next and then we're going to select your squad size it was duos trios quad solos did you enjoy playing this particular game if you died a lot you're probably not going to enjoy it a lot those kinds of things so do this for as many games as you can that way you're getting better constantly and then you're getting more kills rotating better those kinds of things now let's get you these loadouts and this is going to be a combination of what ggs.ai thinks is meta and what i think is meta as well so we're kind of in agreement on a lot of these and this is going to be a really fun video really good loadouts for you guys to be using let's get into it now for this first set of loadouts we're going to go with the evolver and the rival 9 smg now these don't necessarily have to be run together all of these are pretty interchangeable but i'm going to show you these loadouts it's going to be the top seven long range weapons and i'm going to have the top seven close range weapons along with some bonus loadouts for you as well like i said we got a lot of loadouts for you guys today you're going to want to screenshot a lot of these we're going to have all the screenshots for you as well so don't you worry now for this evolver we're going to go with the zimmon 35 compensated flash muzzle the eviction 762 heavy barrel the hound 9g grip the jack glassless optic and the rampart heavy stock and of course we're showing this to you guys in the firing range this thing is still an absolute beam you can put the 556 five, rounds on here if you want to but it's gonna be a little harder to control the recoil i would probably take the stock off if you're gonna do that but completely up to you there For this Rival 9, we're running the Zimmon 35 Compensated Flash Muzzle, the Jack Glassless Optic, the EFX Close Quarters Assault Stock. I like the 50 round drum here. And then we're running the Headhunter Conversion Kit. This is going to turn it into a burst. This is really solid when it comes to mid, when a uh, mid range option, sniper support option, possibly those kinds of things. Probably not an SMG option here, but definitely mid range, definitely a uh, sniper support option here as well. It beams absolutely at mid range there. 
Then for this second set of loadouts, we're going to go with the SVA 545. You can have this in burst or you can have this in full auto, completely up to you. If you go full auto, I recommend going with the Jack Glasses Optic, but uh, we're going to go with the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor, or you can go with the Zimmer 35, completely up to you. The Precision Barrel, the High Grain Rounds, and the 60 Round Mag. If you're running the burst, you know, turn it to burst. This thing still doesn't have any recoil at all. It kills super fast and uh, a lot of fun to run, but you can also run it in full auto mode, still beams. Very good at mid-range, a little harder to control when it comes to uh, longer ranges in full auto mode. If you want to switch up to the Zimmer 35 here, it's going to have a little bit more recoil control, but that's completely up to you there. Again, a little harder to control when it comes to the full auto mode. So I recommend burst over auto, but completely up to you there, whatever's comfortable. Then we're running this with the WSP Swarm. WSP Swarm, we're running the Sonic Suppressor S Muzzle, the WSP Reckless 90 Long Barrel, the High Grain Rounds, the 100 Round Drum. We're running the Fortress Heavy Stock here. I don't recommend this SMG highly. Um, it's definitely one of my, definitely the lower end option for me because it's just got a lot of recoil when it comes to mid range, but you have that 100 Round Mag on there. Next is the MTC 556. These are going to be your top loadouts right here. From here on out, we're going top five loadout options here. So we're going to go with the MTZ 556 here. We're going with the Zimmon 35 compensated flash muzzle. I like the Drifter heavy long barrel, the Bruin heavy support grip under barrel, the 50 round drum, and the Jack glassless optic. Right here, the MTZ is so much fun to run. A lot of fun to use. Um, Another thing that I think is another weapon that I think is pretty interchangeable here is the MCW. I mean, completely up to you there if you want to run the MCW or not. I love the MCW. Um, it did get a buff as well, so it moves a lot less than the uh, MTZ 5.56. So choose whichever one you want, but I like that one as well. Then we're running the AMR9 with a Zimmon 35 compensated flash muzzle, the AMR9 Regal Pro barrel, the DR6 handstop under barrel, the 50 round mag, and I like the Jack glasses optic here. This thing is just an absolute beam, man. A lot of fun to run up close range as well. Really good movement and a lot of fun to run. At number four, we're going to have the Ram 7. We're running this with a Striker 9. The Ram 7 did get a slight nerf, which is why it kind of bumped down for me too. But again, very usable, still very good. So if you're comfortable using that, you're still good to go with the Ram 7. Then we're running the Striker 9 with it. For that Ram 7, we're going with the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor to give it a little bit more damage and quicker TTK. The XRK Core Mark 40 Heavy Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, the 60 Round Drum, and the HBS 3.4 Pad. Show this to you guys in the firing range. Uh, like I said, still very... Very, very controllable. Still very good at range and mid range, especially. And then for that Striker 9, we're going to go with the Zimmon Compensated Flash Muzzle, the DR6 Handstop Underbarrel. I like the 50 round drum here, along with the Jack Glassless Optic and the Lockman MK2 Light Stock. This doesn't have a lot of recoil as it is. If you have trouble controlling this recoil, go with the uh, Striker Elite Long Barrel here. You're going to have a lot easier time controlling that recoil. I can tell you that much. And if you're running a sniper and you want to run this Striker 9 as sniper support, that's a very solid option. At number three, we have the new SOA Subverter. The new SOA Subverter is the new battle rifle. It is very good as expected. You know, they got to make those sales. And then we're running this with the WSP-9, which is one of my favorite SMGs, especially as sniper support. So for that Subverter, we're going to go with the Zimmon 35 Compensated Flash Muzzle, the Dozer 90 Long Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, the 50 Round Drum, and the Jack Glassless Optic. Show this to you guys in the firing range. Ton of fun to run. Man, just, it's so good. Very little recoil. I have a little bit con harder time controlling it at range right there. That's just me. Anything mid-range, you're not, lo you're going to barely lose a gunfight. It's a lot of fun to run. Then for that WSP-9, we're going to go with the Sonic Suppressor S Muzzle, the Hish Short Light Barrel, the SL Skeletal Vertical Grip, the 50 Round Mag, and the Jack Glassless Optic. Show this to you guys here in the firing range as well. A lot of fun to run. If you don't want to run a sight on it and you like the iron sights, take off that Jack Glasses Optic and run this WSP Classics Factory Stock. It'll give you a lot less recoil, I think, as well. But completely up to you there. Uh, boop, 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 boop. There we go. Perfect. 
For this number two loadout, we're going to go with the BP-50. Now, it did receive a slight nerf as well, but it's still very, very good. And then we're going with the Ram 9, which actually did receive a buff, which is very good. It received a buff to some attachments and still very, very good. So for that BP-50, we're going to go with the Zimmon 35 Compensated Flash Muzzle, the Lore 9 Heavy Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, the 45 Round Mag, and the Jack Glassless Optic. Now, another option is, and what GG's.ai suggests, is to take off that optic and run the four bearer heavy stock, which I love also. If you want to not run a site and you want to have a little less recoil, this is a great, great option for sure. So that's without the site and with the site, it's very good also. We'll show that to you right now here in the firing range. Very good with the site as well. And just overall, a lot of fun. Then for that Ram 9, we're going with the Sonic Suppressor S Muzzle, the SL Skeletal Vertical Grip, the 50 Round Mag, the Haste XV Grip Tape, and we're going with the Recon Comb. And we'll show this to you guys in our firing range, just that this is the one of the best. This and the HRM9 are the top two options when it comes to SMGs right now, and you're just going to have a lot of fun running either of them. Uh, those are the top two meta SMGs, period, hands down. There's no debating. The Ram 9 will have your faster TTK, but the HRM9 is going to be a little bit more consistent, in my opinion, especially when it comes to through close range gunfights. Now for the number one overall meta that's going on right now, and then we'll have some bonus for you here in just a second. The Holger 5.56 got a buff and that's all it needed. The Holger 5.56 is fantastic. Number one overall AR for sure. And I didn't know it just needed this. It just it got a slight damage buff and slight range buff. And man, it feels great. It feels absolutely fantastic. And we're going running that with the HRM9. Lot, a lot of fun to run. The Zimmon 35 Compensated Flash, the Cryos 6 Match Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, the 40 round mag and then i'm running the jack glassless optic with it i uh, will show this to you guys here in the firing range it's got very very little recoil a little slower fire rate than like something like the mtz 7 the mtz 556 but uh we're rocking with it man it's so good And then the HRM9, we're running the Zimmon 35 Compensated Flash. I like the Thorn 90 barrel here, DR6 Handstop Under Barrel. I like the Folding Stock along with that 50 round drum. All right, so we'll show this to you guys here in the firing range. I'm losing very little gunfights when it comes to this SMG right here, man. Just so much, so good. It's so good, so consistent. This and the Ram 9 are just your absolute go-tos. Now, if you're looking for some different things and you're just kind of wanting to try other things out and you haven't tried these next three before, so these are some that I highly recommend and I think are very, very solid. So you got your one shot XRK Stalker. We've gone over that before. We've got the Renetti Pistol. Then we're gonna give you a Bruin. Bruin's my favorite LMG, hands down. I know the Tack Evolver is technically better, but uh, the Bruin is my favorite to use. And we're running that with the Striker. I know I didn't have the Striker in my top seven or whatever, but I love the Striker. So the Striker, according to me, is still very good. And then I'm running also the Holger 26 LMG is a lot of fun to run as well. Along with the Core 45 pistol, the Core 45 pistol and the Renetti conversion kit attachment both got buffs in this latest update. So we're going to give you loadouts for those. They're very, very good. And so we'll give you loadouts for those right now. The XRK Stalker, we're going with the Sonic Suppressor XL muzzle, the Fission 60 barrel, the high grain rounds here, the XRK Stalker light bolt, along with the no stock. The Stalker and the Cat AMR both got ADS buffs, so they ADS even faster now For this Renetti, we're going with the Bruin Triport Muzzle, the SL Skeletal Vertical Grip, the High Grain Rounds, the 50 Round Drum, and of course that Jack Ferocity Carbine Kit. Then for this Bruin, we're going with the Zimmon 35 Compensated Flash Muzzle, the XRK Horizon V2 Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, the 60 Round Mag, and the Jack Glassless Optic. Then for that striker, we're going with the Zimmon 35 Compensated Flash Muzzle, the DR6 Handstop Under Barrel, the 48 Round Mag, the Jack Glassless Optic, and the Lockman MK2 Light Stock. Then for that Holger 26 LMG, we're going with the Zimmon 35 Compensated Flash Muzzle, the Holger Factory Barrel. I like the Ascent Lord stock here along with the Jack Glassless Optic. Uh, it already comes with a 60 Round Mag, so you don't have to use an attachment for the magazine this time. 
And then for that core 45 pistol, man, the Bruin Triport muzzle, go on the 40 round drum, put on that XRK IP V2 conversion kit, along with the XRK dynamic precision stock. And for that optic, we're either gonna go with the slate reflector, or you can go with the NIDAR or the MK3 sight. Now, if you're asking yourself about these camos and how you get these camos that I've had on these weapons today, all you want to do, you got to unlock the SOA subverter, go to your camos, and this is going to be the base camos for the SOA subverter. You have to get it to level 12, then unlocks the challenge for it, which is just 10 operator kills while using a mag scope on the SOA subverter. Very easy to do. That's going to be in whatever you're doing, either in Warzone or multiplayer, doesn't matter. And then the purple one that I was using is zombies, which is super simple. If you have this already maxed out, you just want to jump into zombies. All you have to do is get 100 kills. Very very easy i got it done in like two minutes it was awesome so yeah that's how you get those uh camos right there also we just launched our merch today so if you guys are interested in checking out some marvel fan merch it's strictly just for you guys make sure to go check down in the description below of this video also make sure to check out ggs.ai in the description of this video as well thank you guys again for watching make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that noti bell so you don't miss another video like this or like one of these we'll see you in the next one